Hi, all my friends from Debbie's class. It's so great to see you this week. How are you? <laughs> well, we are going to have a lot of fun and music today. We are going to celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday. Have you guys been learning about Dr. Seuss? Well, I'm sure you know who he is. So we're gonna sing about him. We're also going to do some music for what holiday? What holiday is coming up? St. Patrick's Day, that's right. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. But what do we need to do first? First, we need to sing hello, right? All right, so let's get started. Okay, are you ready? Help me to say ready, set, go! Good job. Ready? Here we go. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hello. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hello. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hello. It's time for some music. Let's clap our hands, everybody. Clap, clap, hello. Clap, everybody. Clap, clap, hello, and stomp your feet. Everybody, oh, stomp, stomp, hello. It's time for some music. I dropped my pen. Let me get it. And help me say, hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hello. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hello. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hello. It's time for some music. It's time. That's right. All right, so we're gonna have a lot of fun today. Are you ready to get started? We have a special guest as well. Can anybody guess who the special guest is? Hmm. Let's find out. Hi, everybody. Hi. So look who's helping us today. You remember? I'm Izzy. Izzy's here, yay. yay. So she's gonna help us today with our Dr. Seuss slash a little early um, St. Patrick's Day celebration session. So we're gonna talk a little, about, a little bit about Dr. Seuss because it is his birthday in the month of March. I believe it's March 2nd. So you'll be watching this a little after his birthday, but maybe you've been talking about Dr. Seuss and maybe you have read some of his books. Like why don't you show, these are all Izzy's books. Show them all the Dr. Seuss books you have. One fish, two fish, red fish. Blue fish. Blue fish. Wait, can I show this one? No, mm -hmm. no, this one. Hop on pop. Hop on pop. Fox in socks. Fox in socks. Do you guys know these books? Have you read them before? Go Doggo. Go Doggo. There's a show called Go Doggo. There is. Cat in the Hat. Mm -hmm. We're going to do more with Cat in the Hat in a little bit. And Green Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs and Ham. Izzy, did you know that was the first full book that you read all by yourself? I did not know that. Yeah. Sorry if you can't see me right now. That was actually the first full book I read all by myself, too. Oh, well, same thing as me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sorry, I didn't tune up before. All right, here we go. So, since it's Dr. Seuss's birthday in the month of March, we're going to start by singing happy birthday to him. And then we're going to do a few other songs for Dr. Seuss before we get into St. Patrick's Day. So, ready? Let's start by singing happy birthday. We all know this song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So Dr. Seuss was one of the first really famous children's book writers and illustrators. All right, so let's get started on the rest of our session. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, so we have another song for Dr. Seuss. But before we do that, I wanted to give you a little background. His birthday, which was March 2nd, 1904. So he lived a while ago. He lived until 1991. Mom? Yes. Um, like... Can, can I tell them the, the 
the thing. The next song? Yeah. Yes. So the next song we are going to do, you guys are really good at this by now. You know how we've changed the letters to bingo? We are going to change the letters to Seuss. I, I was going to tell them. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. What are we doing? So we are going to um, we are going to like do wait, what's it called again? The we're changing bingo to yeah, we're changing bingo to Seuss. To Seuss. So Seuss is always a tricky word for me to spell. So the first letter, S, what do you think that first letter is? Can you write it really big, Izzy? Capital okay. letter. Oh, but over here. Oh, over here. Because we got to do five letters. Yeah, first letter we have is S. S. You guys are welcome to write this to write this with us. The next letter we have is E. Can you do a capital E? Just can so everybody I, can see it. I know how to spell it, so can oh, I just great. Do it? They don't though. We might need yeah. to have them. E. S E. Next we have U. Can you put Wait, I want to tell them the next Okay, one. sorry. Yeah. Izzy's excited to help us again. <laughs> U. And then we need two more letters. And it's S and another S. Yes. That's how you spell so, Seuss. I am so glad Izzy's here to help us today because now you can see the letters and me. Well, can you see me? Yeah. Yes, there we go. Letters and me. And you can help us sing it. All right. So these words are a little different. It goes like this. Uh-oh. 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 Mark on. Okay. Can you scoot over just a little? Oh, sure, sure. Here we go. Go. Can they see it? Okay. Yeah, they can. Ready? Oh, why don't you put the marker down? Oh, I was gonna do lunch. Okay. Just to help. I don't know. It might help because we're getting marker all over the place. Sorry. That's Sorry. okay. That's okay. Sorry. Let's come out. Do this. Okay, you put your markers away too. Are you ready? <laughs> there was a man who was an author, and Zeus was his name. Oh, ready? Right. So now we are going to erase the first letter. Can you erase the first letter? Okay, let's get Which erasing. is S. the letter S. I haven't done this song in a really long time. Yeah. And instead of S, we are going to put the number one so we know to clap one time. Can you put a one? Where? Right here. Instead of the S, put a one. A big one. Good. We're going to clap. One time. Here, I'll put the marker away. Okay. All right, you guys so ready to clap? To clap? That's all right. You can hold it. You don't have to clap. No, I'm going to clap. You will? Okay. <laughs> Here I we go. Ready? There. So, Seuss was an author and a writer. Ready? There was a man who was a writer, and Seuss was his name. So now we are going to take away the letter E, e and we're going to write a two. So we remember to clap two times. So we're going to go one, two, U, S, S. Okay. Wait, can, can, can I say the claps? Sure. Ready? So Seuss was an author, he was a writer, and he was also very creative like all of you. There was a man who was created, and Zeus was his name. Oh, clap, clap, U-S-S, clap, clap, U-S-S, clap, clap, U-S-S, and Zeus was his name. Oh. All right, so we are going to erase that third letter. Do you know what the third letter is? Yes, it's I bet you. you do. We're going to erase the letter U. And we are going to clap one, two, three times. One, two, three, S, S. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. So he was an author, he was a writer, he was creative, 
and he was also very silly. There was a man who was so silly, and Zeus was his name. Oh, clap, 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 S S. Clap, 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 S S. Clap, 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 S S. And Zeus was his name. Oh. All right. We're gonna change the next letter. We're going to erase the S. another S. We are going to clap one, four. two, three, four times. Yes, we're clapping four and times. And we are only going to say the letter S. All right, so Seuss was an author, he was a writer, he was creative, he was so silly, and he made me laugh. Did he make you laugh? Yes, he made yeah? me laugh. All right, I'm gonna push this back so they can yeah, see your cute face, Izzy. Yeah. Ready? Okay. <laughs> there was a man who made me laugh. to erase you know that what? last letter. You know what the next letter We're is? We're going to it's erase the letter S. S. How many times are we going to clap? One, five times. two, three, four, five times. Five All right, times. so we learned that Dr. Seuss was an author, a writer, he was creative, he was so silly, he made us laugh. And let's just go back to the original verse. He was an author, a children's book author, ready? There was a man who was an author, and Zeus was his name. Oh, clap, 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 two, three, four, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And Zeus was his name. Oh, and Zeus was. What else we can do today? Hi. Now we are going to sing the cat in the hat. Yeah. So we are going to sing Ooh. a song about the cat in the, the cat hat. in the hat. Have you guys read this book before? The cat in the hat by Doctor Doctor Seuss. So this song, this. you probably are going to recognize the tune. It's originally the Adams Family tune. You probably yeah. also know. And, oh, and Days of the Week. Days, Days of, the of the Week. week. So mm -hmm. in it, we're going to snap twice. I don't really If it's know. hard for you to snap, you can try to do. Can you I do don't that? know how to snap. Can you do that? Sure. I can't do this though. That's okay. I'm sure some of you guys can't snap. <laughs> some of you guys might not be able to do. So if you can't, you can just clap two times. Or pat, pat, pat. Or pat. Whatever you can do. Yeah. As long as you're having fun, that's what's important. All right, so the song goes like this. The cat in the hat. 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 He causes so much fun, but when the day is done, you will be the one to send the cat away. The cat in the hat, 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 the cat in the hat. He causes so much fun, but when the fun is done, you will be the one to send the cat away. The cat in the hat. 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 Nice job. That was just a fun little song for us to do together. Did yeah. you have fun? Mm -hmm. I had fun too. Great job. 
Okay, so we are ready to start celebrating St. Patrick's Day. It's a couple weeks away, so we're going to celebrate a little bit today and a little bit next week. Izzy's here to help us. Mm -hmm. First, I want to tell you a little bit about St. Patrick's Day. So St. Patrick's Day honors a saint named Patrick, um, who was the, pa the patron saint of Ireland. Has anybody ever been to Ireland? I have not been to Ireland, but I don't even know what Ireland is. <laughs> you don't know what Ireland is? That's okay. It is a country in Europe. I actually got a chance to go there many years ago. Um, it's a beautiful country. And uh, green kind of represents St. Patrick's Day. It represents Ireland because Ireland is very green and beautiful. Um, and during this holiday, it is celebrated with parades, special foods, music, dancing, and a whole lot of green. So we're going to sing a song called Ireland. Mm -hmm. And first I'm going to show you the song. Can you use your hands okay. to play? Not markers. Don't use markers. I mean, I guess you could at home, but just here. Um, <laughs> for this song, if you want to, if you have a drum or something to play, you can drum along with me or actually Izzy's going to play the drum while I play the guitar yeah. and I'm going to teach you the song first and then we're going to add different musical dynamics in. I'm going to teach you more about that in a little bit. I know some of my older kids already know. Um, can I tell them something? Sure. Um, so you could either follow me with a drum or you could follow Miss Belinda with a guitar. Yes, you can. You can do what you want to do. Yeah. So let me get the music for us. Here it is. Here we go. So go ahead and get your instrument out. Mm -hmm. It could be any instrument. We're going to have a lot of fun together singing a song called Ireland's Call. Ireland's Call. And little side fact, Izzy and I are both Irish. Our last name is O'Neill. So we have a little yeah. Irish blood in us. Are any of you from Ireland or have Irish family? I don't know how to speak Irish. But well, yeah. they, the thing about yeah. Ireland is they speak pretty much the same language. English, yeah. they just have a little bit of an Irish accent. But maybe they some of the parts yeah. of Ireland, um, they might speak a little bit of a different old language. Oh, an old <laughs> language. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get our Irish accent ready. All right. so far. Now I want to teach you a little bit about dynamics. The sun came out for our Ireland song. Oh, cool. Right? It's a little Thank bright. Thank you for listening. <laughs> the sun's like, I like St. Patrick's Day. So, in music, some of you might know this if you take music lessons, or you might remember if I've taught you this before. In music, if you want to play very, very soft, you might see these two letters. What letters are those? A P and a P. Mm -hmm. Two P's mean mm -hmm. pianissimo, which is really, really soft. This is how soft goes on drums. So how do you play soft? Yeah. So soft doesn't mean to play slow. It just means to play soft. So we're going to try to sing the song and play the song a little softer. Which so I'm going to use my soft voice soft playing and Izzy's going to play soft. Here we go. Come the day 
Is pianissimo. Wait, can I write the next one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna have Izzy write the letters M and F, lowercase. Okay. There you go. Now these two letters stand for the words mezzo forte, and mezzo forte in music means to play medium. Medium loud. I'm gonna try to do medium. Mm -hmm. Right? So you try to play medium. That's yeah. probably medium. This is kind of a comfortable letter level of uh, volume. Let's try it. Come the day and come the hour and come the power and the glory. We have come to We are going to jump to jump. fortissimo okay. right so we're kind of skipping some of the ones in, in between it goes pianissimo piano mezzo piano mezzo forte forte and then fortissimo so when you see fortissimo you are going to see a few f's can you draw three f's for us sure There you go. So when you see Fs like this in music, that means to play fortissimo. Very loud. Very loud. So how can you play loud? And we're going to use our big voices. We're not going to scream, right? Because screaming could hurt our voices. But we are going to sing loud. We are going to project. We are on stage in a concert. Are you ready? to continue with our St. Patrick's Day celebration. Yes, and I found some leprechaun shoes in the bathroom. Leprechaun shoes? What are they, do they sound good if you play them together? Are those your tap shoes or are those really leprechaun shoes? Okay, they are my tap shoes, but we're going to pretend <laughs> that they are leprechaun. She gave it away. Does everybody know what a leprechaun is? 
that is a leprechaun. Here, our leprechaun is a very tiny person mm -hmm. that it usually comes usually around St. Patrick's comes Day. St. Patrick's Day, and he does a lot of green things all mm -hmm. over the house. Sometimes in St. Patrick's Day, you might say a leaf clover. A four-leaf clover. A four-leaf clover or a three-leaf clover. Three clover. Well, four-leaf clover yeah. sometimes you find around St. Patrick's Day, and it brings you good luck. Yeah. So we are going to sing a song called Shamrock Beat. This is a shamrock. You probably have seen some of those hanging around because it's mm -hmm. almost St. Patrick's Day. And for this song, if you would like to, since I know we don't have a ton of instruments, you could take off your shoes if they're not too dirty, and you can click them together like this. They might not sound exactly like this because these are top shoes. They have metal on the bottom. But... Yeah, and yeah. you can help us sing Shamrock Beat. It's about a little leprechaun, and leprechauns are known for their Irish jig dancing too. So it's up to you. You can take off your shoes, and you can dance like a leprechaun, and you can play them and like if an you instrument. Don't have your shoes on. You could go and get them, or you could just go get an instrument, whatever you would like. You don't even have to get it. You could just, like, follow along or clap, sing along, yeah. whatever you want. So there's a special beat I want you to try to match. We're going to go clap, 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 clap. Can you try? Clap, 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 clap. That's good. Keep going. short and green I have four leaves as you can see if you need some luck then call on me it's time a little shamrock short and green from your chairs, whatever's easiest for you. But it's fun, right? Let's do it again. Ready? I'm a little shamrock short and green. I have more leaves as you can see. If you need some luck, then call on me. Cause I'm a shamrock short and green. Wow, great moves, Izzy. 
job, everybody. Yeah. I love that song. We might need to do that song one more time next my, week. My heart is beating very fast. Yeah, it's a good exercise to get up and move your bodies, right? Maybe so what did you guys decide to do? Maybe some of you have tap shoes at home and you're at home and you use them. Maybe you guys just had regular shoes. Did you dance? Did you sing? What did you do? Maybe you clapped. Or maybe maybe you, you got up and did an Irish jig. Maybe you did this. Or maybe you, like, <laughs> snapped or something. <laughs> if you know how to do those. Well, thank you so much for all of your help today, Izzy. It was good to have you back. I know the kids all love it when you come to help me. So, uh, let's get ready to sing goodbye. Okay. All right, I'm going to turn it off for me. Okay, all my friends from Debbie's class, I hope that you had fun today. I know Izzy had a blast singing with you guys today. So thank you for letting her visit our class for the day. She had a lot of fun, and I hope that you had fun too. But now it's time for us to sing goodbye. So will you help me? All right, come on. Here we go. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Let's say goodbye to the music until next time. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. All right, let's sing it one more time. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Let's say goodbye to the music until next time. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Bye, guys. Have a great week. I'll see you next week, and we'll continue to celebrate St. Patrick's Day together. All right, bye. Have a great week.